Update 4 on Cyclone Ibnati, a strengthening storm which is set to deliver a devastating blow to Madagascar just weeks after Batsarai's landfall. Located at 17 degrees south, 56.6 degrees east. It's 8 a.m. in Reunion this February 20th, 2022, with winds of 105 miles an hour, a pressure of 960 millibars, and at the moment it is currently moving west-southwest at about 9 miles an hour, with a CDPS Stage 7 making it a life-threatening situation. Breaking down that CDPS, this is for a landfall on Madagascar, Tuesday local time. Everything's on the major side of things, so unfortunately everything's looking to be a threat with this system. Stage 7 means that catastrophic damage is possible, which is really not good news, especially for those who were hit by Batsurai and affected deeply. This is the wind field we're looking at, 130 nautical miles to the northeast, 150 for the northwest and southwest, and the largest air range of tropical storm force winds is 180 nautical miles, which is on its southeast quadrant. There's a cyclone warning for Mauritius and Reunion currently, it's 210 miles away from Mauritius, 255 for Reunion, 558 from ba Ambahai, 628 from Manakara, and 912 from Toliera. The cyclone watches, which are green watches currently, are in effect on the bottom of your screen there. 339 kilometers away from Mauritius, 405 from Reunion, 898 from Ambahai, 1010 from Manakara, and 1469 from Toliera. These distances for Madagascar, of course, are going to be uh, decreasing in the days ahead. Here are the intensity estimates. The MFR and SETCON have it at 105 miles an hour, which is the basis for this update. ADT has it lower at 90 miles an hour, while the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and ATMS are up to 120 miles an hour. This is the latest count from Mateo, France. They have a reaching intense tropical cyclone category before making landfall on the 22nd. And then, of course, it'll be weakening drastically. May reach tropical storm briefly once again in the Mozambique Channel before it does end up finally dying. Uh, but regardless, it is looking to be a pretty decently sized storm, so those in central and southern Madagascar will be feeling the impacts one way or another with pretty significant rainfall expected as a result of this system. Here the sea surface temperatures expected to remain around 27 to 28 degrees Celsius throughout the duration of this storm, so that is definitely good for this tropical cyclone. Of course, anything above 26 is pretty decent for a tropical cyclone, so definitely a solid future in terms of that for Amnati here. In terms of the wind, you can see that the HWRF model has it uh, weakening quite substantially as soon as it makes landfall. Rainfall, however, is going to be extreme towards the southeastern part of Madagascar, but regardless, widespread areas of 2 to 4, even in the southwestern part. For the intensity models, the models are trying to catch up, but uh, at this point, Amnati has beat all of them, even though some of them had a reaching category 3. Wind shear is expected to remain low until around Tuesday, but at that point, it won't matter as it will be making landfall shortly after. Sea surface temperatures are expected to slowly decrease, with the exception of the CTCX model. Uh, please don't listen to that one. The sea surface temperatures are definitely not going to be going that high. Relative humidity will be pretty much around 60% uh, throughout much of its life. Here is the satellite imagery. It is starting to develop that eye. It looked to have a pinhole earlier, but it is starting to uh, make that eye shown for sure. So we'll see what goes on, but regardless, we're going to be seeing some uh, a strengthening cyclone regardless, and rather eyewall replacement cycles happen before its landfall will determine how strong it gets. We will be doing a live update on Amnati later today, local time. Regardless, Madagascar really needs to be watching the storm closely over the next...